question of the day. When playing a game that has a brand new expansion, what do you like to see in an expansion? You've heard me ask this question before, but I wanna ask it in a little bit different way. There are types of expansions that add you know, different mechanics, different tweaks to the gameplay, but there's also ones that add player count, and this is key. If you find there's a game that really plays well with a good high player count, does it ever hurt to add more players? And that's what we're talking about. Does it hurt to add more players to a game with a high player count? It's up to six players now. So the reason I ask that is because some games, when you add the player count, it messes with the balance of the game, it throws everything off, and it takes longer and longer and longer to play. But Sagrada, the five and six player expansion, does some really neat tweaks that don't take that extra time that sometimes five and six player expansions do, but it does allow you to get the full experience with more players in Sagrada. So let's take a look right now what the Sagrada five and six player expansion adds, what it does, and if you should go and get it right now. Even if you don't have five or six players, that's key. what comes with the new expansion for Sagrada. First of all, I've got it all tucked away in this box and I do like that, that everything fits inside of here. So you get two more player boards, so now that brings you up to six. You get a couple more window panes, which obviously more of these the better, just more options, more variety. Not that you're ever really ever going to play the same one twice. Uh, a lot, I mean, you could clearly. These personal window boards in everybody's player color. And then, of course, the neat little dice tray and some more dice. Dice tray's cool, it's just nice, just a little bonus. The point of the, the single individual dice trays is at the beginning of the game, everyone's going to take some dice, one of each color, two of each color, and put them in this individual dice tray. Now you roll them, whatever they're on, they're on. This sits there permanently till the end of the game. So instead of doing a snake draft up and back, you're gonna do a draft one time, and then you'll also pull a dice from your personal player board. Now. This you might think is easy, but it actually makes it really tough, and as I'll talk about in just a few minutes. But this is really neat. It's a nice, chunky little piece that's, uh, that's added to the game. So really great that you get more than just a five and six player expansion. You get a whole new tweak on the game that you don't have to play with, or if you want to, you can play with it in smaller number games too. It's just a nice additional way to play Sagrada. So if you have Sagrada and you enjoy Sagrada, this is a must. You say, but Brian, I don't ever plan on playing with five or six players. Doesn't matter. Here's why I love this because it manages to do the five and six player thing, yes, you get players for more, or more room for players, but you also get those personal dice boards. And that to me is great. The fact that it gives you the option and the dice tray, that's cool too. But the personal dice boards add a different variety of gameplay, right? You have those set in stone, set in glass really, from the very beginning of the game. So you know what you're gonna have access to. And it makes the choice of, well, do I take the purple one now or do I wait till later? Do I take the red six now or do I wait till later? And some of these things key off of whether they're taking them out of there as drafting. Those aren't drafted, so you can't use some of the tools on those. So you have them set in stone. So it actually makes the game harder in some senses because you have to plan ahead and prepare for what you have sitting there waiting to use. Obviously, it's pretty. Obviously, it's nice. Uh, if you have Sagrada, and you know I love Sagrada. You saw my Sagrada versus Azul video here on the Dice Tarot, and I gave the nod to Sagrada because I like it just a little bit better. You know that I love this game and that it's a fantastic game to get people to play games with, right? Because it's familiar. People go, oh yeah, I've played Yahtzee before. Oh really? But we're gonna build this window and it looks pretty, it looks nice, it's chunky, the pieces fit down in it. Plus you get five and six players now, really builds it out and it doesn't take too much more time at all other than the fact that someone has to take their turn. But because it's not double drafting, it's single drafting plus your own personal board, it manages to speed up some of the slowdown that would normally be there. So excellent job, Floodgate Games, with this Sagrada expansion. If you have Sagrada, definitely, definitely go get this. Even if you don't have five and six players, it's worth having all the stuff that comes in it anyway. So that's the expansion. I'm Brian Drake here on The Latest Retro. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at The Latest Retro, Instagram, all that sort of stuff. If you want to see what we're doing in the magic world, come check out briandrakeshow.com. See where we're going to be on tour. Till next time, we'll see you. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock.
Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.